Welcome to the CryMapping.com overview for the Broward County Sheriff's Office. Over the course of the next several minutes, you will receive a tour of the Sheriff's new web-based crime mapping application for use by the general public. So before we get started, just a few things we should know. What cities are using CryMapping.com? These are the cities that crime mapping will be provided to the Broward County residents. In addition, there are other cities that are using CryMapping.com in Broward County, and they include Plantation and Hollywood. So let's get started in CryMapping.com. There are two ways to access the incidents. One is by locating by a specific address, such as your residential address. Or two, you can choose an agency. By going to the drop down menu here, you can see there's a list of law enforcement agencies that are currently utilizing crimemapping.com in the United States. So scroll down till you see Broward County Sheriff and highlight that and click to go. Now, as you can see, we are zoomed in, but notice by default, the zoom in is into the center of the county. So you're gonna to have to learn how to navigate with the map. And there's several methods to zoom in and zoom out. The first method is using the slider, which is located on the right hand side here. And by clicking on the plus symbol, I'll zoom in. And by clicking on the minus symbol, I'll zoom out. Now you may notice that there, right now, it says 70 crimes between June 30th and July 5th. And what happens is it basically reports the crimes by default the last seven days and what you're seeing here is only those crimes that are visibly on the map so you're seeing 70 crimes are just those that are visible on the map here so if I zoom out by clicking the minus symbol here on the slider you will notice that the number of crimes on the map have increased because that's what's visibly displayed on the map and if I zoom in, you can see that it's reduced because it's just simply showing me those that I'm interested in looking at. So another method to zoom in and zoom out is to click then drag. And now this requires you to utilize your mouse. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click either on the zoom in or the zoom out. So in this case, let's use the zoom in. As I click on that tool, I hold my left mouse button down and holding the mouse button down, I drag it from one corner to the opposite for the area that I'm interested in looking at. And as I zoom in, you'll see that now I'm gonna be discussing or viewing the 33 incidents in this area. You may also notice that on the map, there are different types of icons and what do they represent. To, to understand what they represent, you would click on crime types. And this will show you by hovering over each of the icon what they represent on the map. To collapse this legend, you just click on the crime types again. You may also notice that there is a number, two. Well, if there's incidents that occur at the same location, there could be a number of incidents at that same location. So in this case, if I click on it, I see that there are two incidents at this location. Notice the date, July 3rd, 2014, and the case number, and the location. One thing that is important to note is that crime mapping doesn't identify an individual address. Rather, the block that the incident occurred, so no exact address is shown in crimemapping.com. So you can see the case number and the date, and again, the location and the description of the type of crime. If I click on this button here next, that's gonna show me the second incident. So on June 29th at 6 p.m., uh, at this, on the same block, there was a burglary of structure conveyance. So on the same block, there were two incidents that occurred. That's why you're seeing the number two in this particular case. 
One method to contact the Broward County Sheriff's Office on an incident is to click on the Broward County Sheriff links. And you'll see that there is a Broward Sheriff's Office link to their website. Also, what's very important to note is if you know any information on a particular incident, you may want to contact the Broward County Sheriff's Office Crime Stoppers by clicking on Report a Crime, and this will launch the Broward County Crime Stoppers program. So if there's any information you may have on a particular case, you have a link to this site. So let's say you want to change the date range on a particular event. You can do that as well. Uh, the date, uh, the historic date goes back about 180 days. So you may want to go click on dates and use an current date. We may want to go back and maybe select from June 17th and then apply. So that's how you can change the date range. If there's a particular, uh, I'm just interested in looking at incidents in June, you can select it and then click on apply. And that's how you can change the date range. Let's say that you are interested in a particular address. So if you have a residential address or uh, an address of your child's school, you may want to type it in here. And it's very important that you type in the address, the city, and the state. Since crime mapping is a nationwide product, there's a likelihood that there are many other addresses that have 150 Northeast 2nd Avenue in it. So make sure when you type in an address, put a comma, city, and state, and then click on search. Now by default, based upon that location you've identified, it will create a circle of about approximately one mile, also known as a radius. So within this radius, uh, you'll see that there are 32 crimes. You can expand the radius to a two mile radius and notice that when you do that, those crimes that are visible on the map will appear to be 77 crimes in that date range. So let's go ahead and narrow it down to a half a mile and then we can see some of the events within that area. So now if you want to report for just that area alone, you could actually go in here and click on detailed report. So now we have a detailed report for those crime reports within that date range, within the half mile radius of that particular address that we selected. And you have a list of the records in that area. If you wanna know about trends within that time period, you can click on the trend report. What the trend report will provide is a breakdown of the crimes. So you may wanna know in terms of trends and in terms of day of week, what days were these assaults occurring? So on Sunday, there were two of them. Wednesday, there were two. And then Saturday, there were one. So you can see and analyze crime trends by looking at this information here. Now, finally, you can also zoom into an area on the map. So we'll zoom in. Maybe we want to look at the burglary here. We'll click on that. And you might want to get an aerial view of this area. So click on labeled satellite and that will give you an aerial view of that particular event. And again, if there's any information you may know of that particular case, you can go to the Broward County Sheriff's Office links and report a crime to go to Broward County Crime Stoppers. If you want to receive information about crimes based upon your residential location or your employment, Simply uh, click on the uh, receive e uh, email alerts and you'll see how it works that when a crime occurs in your area, you're going to receive an email with a detailed report telling you exactly what crimes occurred and where they happened. Please keep in mind for your privacy, your email address and personal information will not be shared with any third party vendor. So that concludes the crimemapping.com. Thank you.